Hey guys, Lawrence here, and welcome back to another Shed Talk, where I basically use the layer that is a shed within a house to just mull over random things that I just tend to think about, and where I tend to like planning things, and what I plan to talk about today is people who may worry about stuff, and I must confess, I worry about a lot of stuff, and I've got a message for you, it's gonna be okay. Thanks to all the successes of the YouTube channel, which you guys have been a very major contributor towards, I've been able to essentially lay down the groundwork of starting a family and having a home and now having a cat. For any of you who know, you know, we have a cat called Smokey, who is really, really cool, but also very, very demanding. But at least he's very honest. He tells you what he wants. So that's the main thing you want in a cat. All this ambiguity is just so odd. The next bit that we're doing is the wedding, because Philly and I are getting married, and that is happening in October, and I'll be doing a video which kind of surrounds a little bit more on the topic on the main channel, either today or tomorrow or something like that. I'll figure it out. It's basically a Q&A with some wedding attachments to it and how you can get involved, so go over to that video. If it's up, it's probably not, but it will be up eventually. You see the thing? Shed talk, rambling, and yeah, it's really, really dark out there. It's very gloomy. It's just, um, yeah, looks like it might rain. Good for the garden, though. But if your forecasts are just like the sky, looking a little gloomy, don't worry, guys. I, I, have, a, I have a lot of concerns, because all the stuff that I've been building towards over the last couple of years, it's been really great, and it's been a very nice kind of sense of validation that what I've been building up to do has actually paid off and has been worth the trip. Because 10 years ago, like 2009, I had graduated from university and I really struggled to find a job because if any of you guys remember, 2008 was not a good year if you were a young person. No wonder people tend to call us the forgotten generation because we struggled to find jobs. I did. And I remember like only like a year or two before, like you had an 80% chance of finding a job within the post-production sector or, you know, any kind of film creation sector within 6 to 12 months. And that was basically saying, oh, don't worry, guys, you're guaranteed a job when you get out of university. <laughs> no, that didn't happen for me. I looked at different places like Production Base, Mandy, trying to find some kind of job. I had a decent reel and I did very well in my course. I had one of the best practical grades out there. I was really, really close to getting a first degree and uh, unfortunately my dissertation, which was oddly based on fan culture and anime. If only I could actually talk about these days, that'd be really interesting. But either way, I couldn't find a job for a year. And even then I had to go freelance, which is not how you're supposed to do things. You're supposed to start off in the post-production field as being a runner, then an assistant editor, then maybe a junior editor, then you get an editor, you do that for a couple of years, then you go freelance on your own terms in your late 20s. That's when you do it. I had to do it really the other way around and be a freelance editor from the start. And yeah, I managed to find some good jobs and um, doing some stuff for a, you know, a decent chap who liked boats. And that was fun. You know, kind of little odd jobs and stuff like that. But, you know, I was seriously worrying about whether this was a sustainable career and many times I just thought well I'll just jack it all in and try and do something a bit more normal just to kind of pay the bills and you know Team Four Star eventually I was able to do work with them and get on a basic salary which is very very helpful it kind of saved me like five years ago I was really struggling and uh, yeah and then that's what put the impetus in to start up the channel, you know, my channel in 2016 to really focus on it because I was really not doing much with it. And then lo and behold, I make some videos and then boom, it's now become something I do. I get sponsorships. I do all these things. It takes a lot of hard work. Over these last 10 years, I constantly worried about whether I'd failed or not. And speaking to you now after 10 years, whatever you guys want to do, it'll be okay. And I'm being honest here, getting married is probably one of the biggest challenges that you'll ever do. If you choose to do it, of course. And if you don't want to, that's okay. It's just something I never really thought I'd do, actually. And this is being brutally honest. 
when I was really obese and I never had a girlfriend, like, in my early 20s at all, and even when I lost the weight, I actually had come to terms with the fact that I probably die alone. Like, no joke. I was pretty much okay with being single for my entire life. I'll come to terms with that. And it's really odd in a way that you tend to actually find the person that you really click with the most when you don't try. And I have done with Philly, and we've now been together for six and a half years. And yeah, I took my sweet time proposing to her, but I'll tell you, doing it where King's Landing's filmed, yeah, that was definitely worth it. You know, that was, that was a good one. Shame it was just really bloomin' hot. I wish we vlogged that cruise, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Just, what I'm saying, I'm a very nervous person. I like to worry a lot. But I'm, one thing I'm not worried about is the rain, if you can't hear, it's now starting to rain. It's the shed talk talking. I ramble a little bit. Oh, was that thunder? Or was that the construction still going on? That is still going on, by the way. Everything worked out fine. And if there's anything that you're doing, you know, just keep at it. And try not to focus on the present. Just try and focus on the future and see what you want to do. And then work towards it. And it's something that, you know, one of my Team Four Star chats, Lanny Pator, is doing on his channel. It's something like hashtag bubble, better you, better life. And he's also doing the One Punch Man challenge. So go and subscribe to Lanny if you actually you know, want to check out what he's doing. I've actually invested in a treadmill and I'm now starting to do a bit more exercise because I did used to weigh 360 pounds when I was like 21. And I managed to go all the way down within two years to 155. And for me being six foot three, that is way, way too skinny. So I'm now like around ugh, 250, 260 or something like that, which is not bad. It could be better. So now I do a treadmill. If I don't go out, I do 20, 30 minutes on the treadmill, you know, intermittent exercise and stuff like that. Just to kind of make sure that, you know, I'm in a good condition should I ever become a father or you know after I get married so I don't let myself go and also it's just I want to build up my cardio stamina it's never been that good and I've always been averse to running so you know I still want don't really see myself running at all I like to jog you know just try and build that up or something like that and you just start to do little things like um the wedding invitations I walk to our local post office which was about maybe a 10 minute walk 10 minute walk there 10 minute walk back so nice nice weather. It was pretty decent. It definitely wasn't raining, that's for sure. Just little improvements. So, you know, if you are worrying about something, try not to set the bar too high. Try and just do a little bit of increments in short bursts. It applies for anything, really. Little things in short bursts every now and again actually really last a lot longer than trying to do everything in one go. And that's something I've realised with even my work schedule. I tried to do everything I needed to do for one week in one day, and that's just too much. I space it out, and that means I can work on many different projects. I have r and R. I I have my What If card game that I'm working on, I have the What Ifs, I have the discussions, the galactic roles that I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of stuff to try and sustain things going forward. And if you've stuck around to listen to this, thank you very much for doing so. And we're actually something I'm gonna be mentioning in the main video. Philly and I are going to be setting up a honeymoon fund and something where we can store a little bit of money away um, to put towards a honeymoon because we're not like having a wedding list for gifts and stuff like that. We've got everything that we need, but it's just something there to make sure that we can make our honeymoon something truly to remember. Any messages that you have, we would write them down and we would read them or have them up on a board at our wedding so people can read all the generous feedback and messages that you guys like to have. So. Here is a link to um, you know, where we want to do it. And yeah, you can help contribute to the wedding in some way, both with words and with whatever you can spare. But if you cannot, that's totally fine. The fact that you've even watched this video to the end is something that I truly appreciate because I like to ramble if that's something that you haven't been made aware of. I worry a lot about things. I ramble to myself and I tend to go around in circles. And that's almost a little bit of a blessing because my tutors used to say this. Um, if I had a problem about something, I would just talk it out. I go round and round in circles and then I actually solve my own problem. So in a way, I'm my own best guidance counsellor, I think. That's certainly very odd, but... The point is, I have a lot of stuff to worry about, um, you know, the future, getting married, even though that's going to be fun, mind you, 
as well as work going forward, yeah, because of the algorithms going on. I just have to keep telling myself it'll be okay. It'll all work out. You just gotta, you know, just stick the course. Anyway, thank you so much for listening, and until the next Shed Talk, guys, I hope you're doing well. Just take care of yourselves, and just enjoy all the content here. And once again, one is glad to be of service.